Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and today we are back in EverQuest Project 1999 on Tortha. We are now level 4, and we are going to progress from level 4, hopefully to level 8 today. So we're going to start here in the Kobold camp. Hopefully nobody else is here yet. Yes! And I have put a Skyfire Sword and a Torch on my pet. This is the level 4 pet. He is pretty strong. Will last me all the way up to level 8. At level 6 or so, we're going to move over to uh, some other mobs in this area. And if we need to, we'll go ahead and gate back over to the uh, over to Nariak. And then move up to High Hold to pick up our new pet spells. And then... Uh, try to get to level 12 in the next video. We'll see how it all goes, but let's get the, this thing started. So I think I want to lull the back ones. By the way, it may be really loud, or hopefully you can't hear it, but there it's raining outside. <laughs> it's raining really hard outside, and I don't have a way to prevent that noise. So let's go ahead and lull these guys. Of course, you resisted. I have 200 charisma, right? Yeah. All right. I'm just making sure. <laughs> Resist. Can I get at least this mob without pulling them? Even if I can't, I do have Mez up, so it's not an issue. Um. Yeah, let's not do that. I need to... You know what? I'm going to put Mez at 5, and I'll just leave it that way. This should go pretty fast with him having a 1022 sword. He should be hitting for a good amount of damage. I got a two-hand sword last night that I'm going to put on him. But uh, being that this is new, uh, this level 4 should be an um, interesting situation. But once we get to level 5, uh, it should get a whole lot easier for us. I don't know why I just did that, but I did. Um, <laughs> let's start mezzing then. So we're going to press number five. There we go. What are you doing? Where's my pet? What's going on? Am I lagging because of this rain? Is that what's going on right now? Because I don't, I don't want that... Not supposed to be breaking low, man. Low is a very expensive spell for this level. Alright, who are you gonna attack next? You're attack you're attacking or did you just attack both of them? Is that what you're doing? I didn't know that this, this was a thing that it was supposed to uh, do. <laughs> wow. I am getting genuine lag from, from this rain right now. Well, that didn't go the way that I wanted it to. But we should be fine now. We're just going to have to make sure that our pet... Get some health back so he's not dying. And it doesn't matter. Uh, I can take some hits here. Hey, Shaman. How you doing? Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I don't know if this just doesn't make any sound until it casts. But that's kind of weird for me. And... Yeah. Let's weaken him also. I was hoping that my pet would be able to kill faster with this weapon that he has in his hand. But he apparently is not. It's okay though. I was able to get this weapon pretty cheap. So I am not too, too worried about it at all. Let's see. Um, I need to put strength on. Myself and him.
There we go. Let's weaken. Don't weaken my pet. <laughs> Don't do that. Alright, let's see if this works. See how much damage he takes. How much damage is he doing? Okay, so he's doing more damage than he's taking. It's not bad. Let's go ahead and get the next one pulled. And by the way, I'm still using a lot of my level 1 spells. Mainly because of the fact that it just costs too much mana to use those level 4 spells. Mez, I really don't want to use it. Unless I absolutely have to or I get bored of trying to lull because it's getting resisted. Go one hand blunt, go! <laughs> yeah! Alright. The thing I'm going to uh, see being an issue is that, for right now at least, let's go ahead and let him do that, and I'll go ahead and add some damage to him. Okay, or not. He can resist. Actually, I can go ahead and change this out for my new spell. I'm just going to have to make sure that I med every so often. I could tash him as well. Let me make sure that my that is my actual pet self. So this version of the spell, this is actual. I'm not going to cast it now, but it is an actual dot. Did I get that mob already? Let's get this one. So it's going to hit for 8 damage, or 10 damage, and then it's going to dot it for 8 damage. There we go. So with my 8 damage and his damage, should die pretty fast, I would hope. Yeah, the two-hander is the way to go. Uh, whenever I was playing my mage, who is now 27, if I take and put any kind of two-hander that is 20 damage or more on it, it'll do 60 damage per hit, as long as it doesn't um, miss or anything like that. Also, I don't know why I'm loading that. Um, also, I believe uh, he does... Um, you, you need to make sure that you have the best quality of your pet. I'm not going to do that with these pets, uh, because I won't be using this kind of pet for very long. I'll be changing over to Charm at level 12. Okay, let's do that. And, um, let's waken him, I guess. But he is dotted, so he'll die pretty fast. And I'll go ahead and get this guy over here too. Now, I can hear already that I'm saying go ahead a lot. Hopefully I'll edit out a lot of those. Nope. There we go. Get him! <laughs> so this I'm going to be doing for uh, another two levels. I'm going to get to level six here. Once we get level 6, then Black Barrel maybe? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we're going to do there. But yeah, I definitely. if I'm going to go to Black Barrel, I want to make sure that I get my level 16 spells for sure. Um, because <clears throat> my plan is to, at some point, move on to Kunark, I think. Just I, I'm playing it by ear, I guess. Is, is the current plan. Gotta have a target if you want to cast it. Okay, he's gonna blind me. Resisted! I have 57 magic cruises. Strength is already gone. Let's go ahead and give him strength again. Did I put haze on myself? 
Let's go ahead and put Haze and Strength on myself. That way I know whenever his buffs drop. Okay, and he's getting hit pretty hard. No clue what the shaman's at. But my suffocating sphere has worn off. Okay, so I'm level 5 now, and I went ahead and moved, because we had other people that were getting on, um, it's around 9 o'clock in the morning, so I wanted to move over to another zone, um, let people that are new to the game have their area, and I, I would just come over here, and um, Let's just see what I could do. I, I think it's going to be interesting. Uh, he is red to me. I have no clue what class he is. But we're going to go in here. And I was able to pick up a muzzle from a mage. <clears throat> which has haste on it. And I had a staff that I ended up uh, looting. It's a 100 plat staff. Not really worried about losing it. But uh, I want to make sure that I can even handle the mobs in here. So let's just take a look. Uh, I know that the rats I can. High corpse. And who? There's two 11s in the zone. They should have probably moved down by now. Let's open this door and see what's behind there. Putrid is yellow. I think we'll be able to handle it. So let's go back over here. And I'm going to take Suffocate out. 
never gonna get rid of gate gate is essential <laughs> and are you at just the 16 oh 39 so they're either coming here to practice or they're dragging a corpse i'm guessing so summon or pet will buff it. I'm going to go ahead and click these off. I need to practice my spell casting anyway. Uh, we'll summon our pet. Or we'll buff ourself. Then we'll buff our pet. We'll give them the weapons and stuff. And we'll get right to it. So haze. Strengthen. Do the same thing. Now I don't know if I really want to have my damage spell up. Or if I want to remove my weakened spell. Put my damage there. And then put uh, color flux up. But I'm kind of worried about... I'm kind of worried about it. Let me... Let me do that. Let me put that there. What, how much mana is Color Flux? It's 20. Everything is 20 at this level. Alright, well, let's put that there. Weaken is the better spell to pull with. <sighs> we'll see. We'll just see how well our pet does, and then we'll decide from there. So we have the Muzzle, which is 11% haste, which is good for our pet. We're going to put a staff, which is somewhere in my bags. I have too many. There it is. And just to show you, it's 30 damage, 40 delay. It's a nice weapon. And we're going to put one of these on here. I don't know if it makes it faster or not, but I feel it does. So there you go. Now then, if I want to play it safe... Let's, I don't want to even waste mana. Wow. Uh, he just hit that for 57 damage. <laughs> um, secret to power leveling apparently is to equip your pet with a 20 and higher weapon. Come on, pet. There you go. <laughs> he just hit it for 42. Wow. Go pet, go. We do want to be uh, proactive and making sure he doesn't die. So by attacking him this way, having the pet behind him, he has a higher chance of hitting him. 60 damage. What? All right. I think we should be able to pull this guy solo. Uh, what is... Okay, I don't... Alright, I'm going to get rid of this. I think we should be fine without it. And I think if I use... I mean, maybe I should just use this. This is 10 mana, 7 mana. Let's use that. Doesn't hurt for us to get skill up. It's going to be pretty fast, I think, leveling here. We'll see. These are calling yellow. But our pet is taking it like a champ. Uh, we do need to probably go ahead and do this back thing. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe it does that much damage. Now, I know that at level 27, my pet on my mage is doing the same amount of damage. Like, the 40 to 60 damage. That's just nuts. I don't really need to loot these. These were still conning blue. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. 
Do I lull him? That was resisted. Okay, I'm going to let him attack the pet. Then I'm going to go ahead and break this guy. So yeah, I guess I'm power leveling myself uh, <laughs> without uh, using any kind of turn-ins, doing any kind of quests. The only sad thing is, is that I'm, I won't be able to get that weapon back. But I know to buy another one of those. Again, they're only 100 plat, I believe. So I'm definitely going to have to get another one. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Won't be able to see that corner, but I should be able to lull everything else. If not, this is going to hurt. <laughs> okay, he is lulled. And he... Is lulled. Nothing else crazy in here. There we go. Get that rat. Okay. Pet has. Uh, can now not regenerate. So we're going to have to. Baby it for a little bit. I think he can't regenerate. Alright. Um, there we go. Went ahead and hit. Oh, wow. Wow. This is... This is not what I was expecting. <laughs> and this is good, really good experience. This whole zone is. This will be able to take me up to 8 pretty swiftly. I just have to make sure that I stay away from certain mobs like... Um, I can't, I can't attack the Shadow Knight. That would be deathly to me. Okay. Don't attack my pet. That is ridiculous. Hopefully I don't die to something stupid. Or that a ghoul decides that it wants to come around and play. Because if there, if a ghoul spawns, that's the placeholder for the name that spawns at the beginning area. And that is for the Paul of Apollo. So we're probably going to stay down here. But that doesn't make us safe. It just makes us trapped. Okay. Let's go ahead and level them. Here we go. Can hit her now. <laughs> So I guess I'm going to just kill here for a bit and I, uh, I'll show you some progress.
All right, so I am now in high hold. I got level eight while I was down there. And we are going to invis ourselves real quick and go in to high hold keep and buy our level eight pet. And then I need to still mem all my level eight spells. But I am probably only get, getting my pet to level 12. I don't think I need a pet past that. Uh, I should be able to handle charming and everything. So let's go ahead and get in there and see what's going on. So I really don't know exactly where I'm going to be heading. And I think it's fine to take this off. Though I do probably want to go ahead. Oh, I should not have done that. I should. Okay. The guards are gone. I need to change real quick. That was stupid of me. I keep forgetting I'm a dark elf. She's indifferent. Okay. Also want to go ahead and shield myself. And I need to make a macro right here. Uh, that just says target myself. So let's do that real quick. Okay. And just to make sure that works. There we go. So I'm going to put that there. And we're going to... Uh, put haze on herself and just since we're still really low level I'm going to invis as well all right so it's an Arudite I believe that we're looking for and the only place I could think to look and here's actually I'm gonna ask him think it's this way no I think it's over here so I think it's an also I think it's an Arudite okay okay so I did find it um, it's in here the library and I think it's the Arudite so this guy. Did I target the right guy? I didn't. All right, let's do this by um, amount. This one will be our level eight. Let's buy that. This one will be level 12, 16. All of them are from here. I guess we'll just, oh, I don't have money on this character. Let's go to the bank. I moved some money over to my warrior, which I'm going to probably be moving back over to this character soon. But we have, let's see, should only take, it'd be less than 100, I would think. There we go. I definitely don't want to be here longer than I absolutely have to be. Oh, I did it again. Oh, I did it. Okay, that's where you cut it off before you get monetized or demonetized. <laughs> All right, so we'll talk to him again. And which one did I? I only bought the one. So I should be able to get this one. Do I want this one? Probably not. I want to buy it anyway just to say that I have it. If I haven't learned how to charm correctly at that point, then I don't know what I'm doing with myself. So, should I... I think I should just gate back to Nariak. Um, yeah, it's nighttime. So, let me do that. Get back to... Or go to where my next place is. Alright, so we're back in Nariak. And I am putting my spells in. Also, trying to just see what I got. Alliance is going to be a very important ability, but I also have it on here. Once this is clickable, I wonder if it's clickable now. we got to try it real quick. 
No, I think it's 20. I think it's 20 for that. But either way, it's going to be helpful for modifying our ability to go through different areas without being attacked. So it's going to be, uh, I, I think it's 100. Is it 100 modification? Something crazy like that. All right. Um, let's see. This will go here. Eye of Confusion. I have no clue what that is. But it's a thing. <laughs> that will, I'm going to put it here. This is going to be kind of like my miscellaneous pile. Though I do have certain things that I put here that are always on my front page on every character, bind, gate, root, and then above here is all the space is used for, and it will end up being the primary abilities that I use. For now, it's just going to be a mixed mosh, I guess you would call. Sentinel, I think that's an eye thing also. I have no clue. We'll see. Once I put it in. Uh, is this Eye of Zalm? Let me, let me get away from the guards. I don't want them to kill me or anything like that. Um, we can put it under illusion since we don't need the human illusion anymore. Also, for those people who are enchanters, let me know if I'm doing my spell list wrong. I, I think there is maybe a better way to do it. Should I have all these slots here as hotkeys? Uh, let me know about that. Either way, for now, this is just uh, what I'm using. This is an AoE thing. Is this tell me what's everything is my area? You have, uh, you sense that you're being watched. Goro has triggered your, oh, okay. So this is, oh, please tell me I can turn it off. Okay, there it goes. No, it didn't. It didn't turn it off. How do I turn it off? Okay, let's get this. Let's get that out of there. Anyway, so what it does is it tells me what's in my area. And apparently, uh, if a mob is getting close, uh, I mean, that looks like it's expending mana over time. Eye of Confusion. What, uh, did I already put that in? Uh, where did I put that? What, uh, I'm going to cast it on myself. Is it a blind? Is that what it is? If I if it's uh, if it's showing the blind, um, whenever I start casting it, then I'm gonna guess that that is what it is. Yeah, it's it's uh, blind. Okay, cool. Um, let's just go back over here real quick. I have something targeted. Oh, of your group. There we go. So I'm, I'm just going to have to figure that out get used to it anyway that's cool i have confusion let's get to the next spell sue this is another lull once we get to calm calm is the last ability that you'll use i kind of want to okay so i think anything that affects the mob will go on this side as far as uh, color flux, mez, AOE mez, those kind of things. Anything that lowers their aggro is going to go over here for now at least. Oh, that's level 12. <laughs> okay. Now then, we need to search uh, through here. This is level 12. Okay, all of this is 12 still. See invisible, that's eight. Awesome. Let's do this. Let's put bind sight there. 
Did I just put, I just want to make sure that that's where I put it. It's the invisible. I should check. I don't know when I get Invis 2 Undead. Shielding. That's 16. Lesser is 8. Okay, so I do have a new shielding. Awesome. I'm going to put, I don't know how many haze type spells I'm going to get. I'm guessing strength is going to be put back further. Um, I'll put it with Alliance, because that is kind of its own awkward type of spell. It's not awkward, it's, it's valid for the class. I guess I could put it here. At some point, I'll have macros across this bar, and I think I've already said that with everything in it. So, so there's that. Now we have Illusions to put in. See what Illusions we get this level. We get Gnome, yes. <laughs> Gotta love the Gnome. And, eh, what else? What level do we, I think it's, this is the tree, that's at 16. Our Eodite is at 12, and High Elf is at 12. Okay. Troll is going to be the 16, right? Did I not pick up Troll? Either way. Oh, it's in the bank. It's in the bank. Okay. I think. Yeah, in that bag I had level 20 spells, I think. Color Flux and XR Illusion. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end it there. Next time, we'll find some other location to go. Let me know where you want me to go. I, um, I think... Next time, though, it's going to be... Let's go to Blackboro. I think we're going to go to Blackboro next and stay there for a bit. I think we can get to 12 there pretty easily. Once we get level 12, we'll have our charm. We have merchants that we can go to in Kinos. Plus, we can do the Kinos quest for the fangs. That should be a good way to go, I think. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.